friends, hope you are doing great. It's Jen. Congratulations, you already applied for Children's Scholarship, which means now you are waiting for the interview. And if you have not applied yet, do it next year. Crash into it. Three ideas for you today. Three questions you can ask yourself. First, what are the outcomes do you want from the interview? Do you just want to be selected? or you want something bigger than that, you want to share your stories, you want to convince people that you are going to make a difference in life, in people's life. Second question, ask yourself, what are the reasons behind that outcomes? As I mentioned before, the outcomes always come with the reason, the purpose behind that. And if you look at the outcomes, you don't have the reason behind that. You want to give up or you often get terrified so the outcomes and the reason are bigger than all the scared feeling that you have in the interview that you probably have now the limiting belief the lack of confidence whatever you feel that but then just think about the outcome think about what you're gonna get from that oh and the purpose behind it is bigger than all the challenges in the way so remember in my case i went to the interview and i actually didn't even intend to study in the uk I didn't really have that kind of 100% to study in the UK because I had another chance to work like a French manager for another startup and I really wanted to start my business, really wanted to turn my passion into a career and I just like, what should I do? So I went to the meeting, I didn't even bother about this kind of conflict, but I just focused on the outcome and the purpose that no matter what is the way I choose. I'm going to work as a manager, I'm going to study in the UK, or I'm going to be event organizer for the Belgium NGO. Whatever I'm doing, this is a way, this is like a tool for me. But my purpose, my objectives, much bigger than anything else. So I just focus on that. I don't even like think, oh, I'm in the interview, but I'm thinking that I'm just doing something that really move me towards the mission in life so even if I enter the interview with the job or he, I enter the interview with the meeting with the manager or I interview with the chimney people it could be the same because I have the same outcome the same mission that I need to reach out to so what about your case what is the mission in life what is your purpose what are the outcomes you want from that you want to do something big in life something to make a difference you focus on that you don't focus on all the lack of confidence, you don't focus on the limiting belief. That leads me to the next question. Ask yourself, what are the meaning do you give to the interview? Not the society, not the media. People think about interviewing, people think about, oh, you're gonna be terrified, you're gonna be, oh, you know. But this is so, so constructive. Some people, they think about interviewing, they seem excited. They feel like, wow, I'm gonna have a chance to talk with somebody. I'm gonna have a chance to share my stories, share my voice. So why don't you think in that way? Why don't you give that meaning to that interview? So here, your focus on outcomes. Your focus on the purpose. Your focus on the meaning you give to the interview. If you give the meaning to the interview that it's gonna be scary. You don't feel scary. You like you feel sad. You gonna feel sad. If you feel excited, you see everything like exciting. Even though maybe it's raining. So here in the UK, we will often look at the rain and say, "Oh, it's not beautiful day." Wow, that can change except for the weather. You still you. So if you give a meaning to excite you in the interview, you gonna feel excited. So why don't you give it? that kind of meaning. So my question for you, what meaning do you want to give to the interview? What meaning do you want to give to the interview? Not the meaning the society or we are one interview for the social construction for a long time. Think about interview like a scary thing. Nothing wrong, nothing wrong with that, but nothing true, no proven. Nothing say that it's going to be true. The only person make it true is you. If you think it's true, it's true. So the only thing become true when you think it's true. There are nothing proven true until you believe it's true. Does this make sense? Like you never believe in me until you believe in you. You make yourself believe. No matter how I say, how proven strategy set and use. But if you don't allow yourself to believe what I'm saying, you're not believing. Because the 
own person and the permission to make you believe is you. So why don't you give that permission for yourself to think about that it will be like an exciting thing. And don't worry about anything with that because you go into channel story. You have something bigger than that. You are bigger than any struggles and your mission in life bigger than any struggles. And I remember when I went to the interview, I didn't even like really talk clearly. Not because I was worried, but I often sometimes, like now you can see that sometimes I just like talk to something else, totally different topic. I just had that kind of like excited. I just like excited. I just wanted to share. So I sometimes share so many things. Not so clear. It's not recommended anyway. So if you if you excited, it's great. But then you just need to really make it clear instead of like talking about everything so I talk about a lot of things and then the interviewer she asked me can you just clarify so she felt really sad in what I was sharing with her but then she didn't understand she asked me so I just like replied so there's nothing wrong when a person asks you to repeat because they care so they care because they can see the passion in it you can see your excitement in it. You can see that you know what you're talking about. You can see yourself in there. You can see that you talk from your heart. You really talk from your heart and your story, my friend. So, tell your story. Give a meaning to that. Thanks for watching, my friend. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel, which I can share with you more tools, techniques, and strategies to develop our life together to achieve goals in life. Most importantly, give it a try all the things I shared with you and share with us what are your strategies to success and totally download this guide, One Page Achiever to plan your day, to prioritize what you need to do to focus on the outcomes and purpose in life to do things that matter to your life One Page Achiever If you have been using it, great, keep using it and I cannot wait to see you until the next video then stop loving, living and giving every woman of life. Love you.